Hello, welcome to Switched On, Paul speaking, and today we're going to have a look at a new release on the Nintendo Switch, and it's another one of these Arcade Archives release, oh, try to sound that when you're drunk, um, from Hamster Corporation, they've released so many of these great old games, and this one is a real favourite of mine growing up, uh, it's Map Mania, um, or if the uh, if you played it in Japan, uh, it was called the Exciting Hour, but uh, we know it over here in the UK as Map Mania in the 1980s. It came out in 1985, um, so it really is mid-80s. And if you're sort of a, a person of a certain age like myself, then you probably grew up with the uh, WWF, grew up liking wrestling, and uh, mid-80s, it was all the rage. And uh, the amount of money that I must have put into this game at the arcades is absolutely nobody's business. So we're going to dive in, just have a quick look at it show you what it's all about um it's as i say came out in 1985 and given how bad the uh, wwf game is on the or wwe sorry game is on the switch this is probably by default the best wrestling game you can get on the switch now so that really says something but an absolute classic arcade game especially considering the age absolutely insane so uh, like all these hamster games uh, left button lets you put a credit in you can put in as many credits as you want Right button is like the start button, so you get like a little short introduction from the TWA. Your player was never named, but it was a kind of common knowledge. It's called Tommy Dynamite. I think some of the crowd hold up signs. But uh, you work through, I think, six wrestlers. First one here is the Insane Warrior. If you have a look in the crowd, actually, you could take a close look in the crowd, see if you can spot anybody. Quite a few cameos in the crowd. Now, just while we're playing through this, just to let you know that I've not played this for quite a few years, so I've stuck the difficulty on easy, just so I can uh, show you the gameplay, and even then, it's still not the easiest game in the world to play. But it is a great game. So it only uses two buttons. The, uh, the B button is your punch. The A button is a kick. Pressing both together at the same time will allow you to run. And then within that simple rule set, there's a variety of moves. So, you know, different directions and different combinations of buttons. Get out of the way, this dude's running. Boot to the head. Oh, I tried for power driver, but he's not got enough energy sapped. Oh, I still can't do the power driver. But always my finishing move in this game. If we can actually get him over towards the corner. There's the power driver. I don't know if we can reach him from here. Oh, we can! Go for the big splash. The big finish. And that's our first opponent put away. Patented finishing move from uh, my time in the arcade. It's the uh, the power driver. The, uh, the 450 off the top rope. And then the running splash usually puts pay to a lot of these uh, wannabe fighters. So Karate Fighter up next. His moves move set is basically like Kung Fu moves, a lot of kicks, a lot of chops. Oh, we're early for the power driver. Oh, the, uh, the power driver's down and kick to do the uh, power drive move. Oh, flying splash. Running karate kick. I love that back spin kick. Can we get this in? Oh, just about nailed it, but both end up on the floor. Oh, punch bag from the karate fighter. Goes for the early pin. Sort of hammering away on the buttons there to get off of there. Oh, missed the flying splash. Now, when the music changes like this, it means you're low on health and the, the uh, opponent is stepping up their game. Oof. So we are in a lot of trouble at the moment. Backdrop. Oh, I went for the power driver, but he's not going to get it. Flying kick from Karate Fighter. Chopped to the head. That could be all she wrote. And it is. One, two, three. And out we go. Disappointing. Well, we've got plenty of credits. Let's see if we can continue. Oh, we've got to put our name in first. A bit bad putting ace in, but what can you do? 
I'd love to know in the comments below. Let me know if you've uh, if you played this one in the arcade. As I say, if you're of a certain age, 40-ish, something, um, you sort of would have been prime age in the 80s, around about 10, 11, when this came out. So family holidays to the beach, get sent off with a bag of 10 peas, and uh, most of them went into map mania. We'd have a wrestling games at the time. There was a uh, Saturday night's main event. That was a really weird game. You sort of... Uh, photorealistic rotoscoped kind of graphics it was a really clunky game to control but looked great uh, what else was there wrestle war that was from sega i think so could be one that they bring to the sega ages range but if it actually came out on the playstation this one has actually been out on the playstation for a couple of years i think it's just come out today on the switch so they've taken a while to get this one over Faked him out with the elbow. Down you go, son. Oh, we all know what happens when it's the power driver. Oh, misses the spin. Another power driver for your troubles. You won't, won't miss this one. Running splash. That's all she wrote. One, two, three. Come on, we need to beat Karate Fighter. The third wrestler's called uh, Coco Savage, and he was a tough mother to uh, to take down. I think there was Coco Savage, then there's uh, the Piranha. He was the fourth fighter. And then I'm sure there's one based on Hulk Hogan. And he didn't just stand in the middle of the ring making racist remarks. Oh, gone for it early. Make that. Oh, I can't get down. Look like an idiot now. Trading kicks with Karate Fighter. See so if we can get him outside the ring. I've got a suplex in my arsenal as well, but uh, I think it's up and kick. There we go. Out the ring to see if we can dive over the ropes. Oh, missed him by a mile. But you can see the playability for 1986. I mean, the game looks great. It runs really nicely. And it's just got that playability, even like for a game that old. It's got all the sort of uh, core fundamentals from a really good wrestling game. Arcade game, anyway, obviously. Oh, shoulder barge. Here we go. Oh, could be it. Come on, ref, count. One, two, oh, one, two, three. Karate fighter dispatched. Now, this was always my nemesis growing up. Coco Savage. Watch for his uh, persistent shoulder barges. There we go. Oh, head punches. Oh, and the double trapezius strikes. The flying splash, is that it already? Just about kick out of two. Oh, double splash, another. Tap Coco Savage and off we get. Just do anything at the moment just to get him off his feet. Oh, head punches. Here we go, the music's changed. I can't remember what his finishing move was, whether it was those trippy. Oh, the big swing, that was it. Oh my goodness. That's us toast. Yeah, I forgot about the big swing. Go on, get back in the ring. Give me a chance to have a breather. Yeah, have to taste of your own medicine. Oh, it's the trapezius strikes. That could be it. One, two, three, Coco Savage. So 
So there you go. That is Map Mania. Sorry we couldn't get through to the uh, latter fight. As I say, we're even on the easy at the moment. Um, so that gives you an idea of the, uh, the difficulty of the game. There is a high score table like all of these hamster games. Just have a quick look at that. Online oh, ranking, see how we do. 23rd in the world with that last score there, 23,500. Uh, a lot of Japanese scores. Not many uh, look like they're Western scores, but 23rd, always get in early on these games and get a semi-respectable score. <laughs> but uh, there you go. So leave me a comment below if you've played this one. Uh, or just what was your favourite wrestling game growing up? Arcade game. There was what? WrestleFest, uh, WrestleMania. Uh, say there was Wrestle War. That was a, the Sega sort of unlicensed one. Map Mania it, and uh, Saturday Night's main event. So let me know what you enjoyed growing up or if you've uh, played one of the later wrestling games. I'm a bit out of touch with arcade games. We don't have many arcades in the UK now. So I uh, don't know what's about. But anyway, please leave a comment. Drop me a thumbs up. And uh, subscribe if you're new here. Be greatly appreciated. Hope you enjoyed the video. And I'll catch you next time. Thanks, everyone. Bye-bye.